Hi there, and welcome to InfoWorld. Today's video is about the history of rockets. A rocket is a vehicle that uses jet propulsion to accelerate without using the surrounding air. A rocket engine produces thrust by reaction to exhaust expelled at high speed. Rocket engines work entirely from propellant carried within the vehicle, therefore a rocket can fly in the vacuum of space. Multistage rockets are capable of attaining escape velocity from Earth, and therefore can achieve unlimited maximum altitude. To control their flight, rockets rely on momentum, airfoils, auxiliary reaction engines, gimbal thrust, momentum wheels, deflection of the exhaust stream, propellant flow, spin, or gravity. Chemical rockets are the most common type of high-power rocket, typically creating a high-speed exhaust by the combustion of fuel with an oxidizer. In China, gunpowder-powered rockets evolved in medieval China under the Song dynasty by the 13th century. They also developed an early form of multiple rocket launcher during this time. The Mongols adopted Chinese rocket technology, and the invention spread via the Mongol invasions to the Middle East and to Europe in the mid-13th century. Medieval and early modern rockets were used militarily as incendiary weapons in sieges. Between 1270 and 1280, Conrad Kaiser described rockets in his military treatise Bella Fortis around 1405. The name rocket comes from the Italian racchetta, meaning bobbin or little spindle, given due to the similarity in shape to the bobbin or spool used to hold the thread from a spinning wheel. The Mysorean rockets were the first successful iron-cased rockets, developed in the late 18th century in the Kingdom of Mysore under the rule of Hyder Ali. The Congreve rocket was a British weapon designed and developed by Sir William Congreve in 1804. The first mathematical treatment of the dynamics of rocket propulsion is due to William Moore 1813. William Leitch first proposed the concept of using rockets to enable human spaceflight in 1861. In 1920, Professor Robert Goddard of Clark University published proposed improvements to rocket technology in a method of reaching extreme altitudes. In 1921 the Soviet Research and Development Laboratory Gas Dynamics Laboratory began developing solid propellant rockets, which resulted in the first launch in 1928, which flew for approximately 1,300 meters. These rockets were used in 1931 for the world's first successful use of rockets for jet-assisted takeoff of aircraft and became the prototypes for the Katyusha rocket launcher, which were used during World War II. In 1943 production of the V-2 rocket began in Germany. It was designed by the Peenemund Army Research Center with Werner von Braun serving as the technical director. The V-2 became the first artificial object to travel into space by crossing the Kármán line with the vertical launch of MW 18014 on 20 June 1944. Note to the Bell X-1, the first crewed vehicle to break the sound barrier 1947. During the Cold War rockets became extremely important militarily with the development of modern intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs. The 1960s saw rapid development of rocket technology, particularly in the Soviet Union like Vostok, Soyuz and Proton, and in the United States like the X-15. A rocket engine can use gas propellants, solid propellant, liquid propellant, or a hybrid mixture of both solid and liquid. Some rockets use heat or pressure that is supplied such as steam rockets, solar thermal rockets, nuclear thermal rocket engines or simple pressurized rockets such as water rocket or cold gas thrusters. A rocket and its payload together are generally referred to as a missile, or as a rocket if it is unguided. As the supersonic exhaust collides with the ambient air, shock waves are formed. The sound intensity from these shock waves depends on the size of the rocket as well as the exhaust velocity. The sound intensity of large, high-performance rockets could potentially kill at close range. The space shuttle generated 180 dB of noise around its base while hearing becomes uncomfortable if the sound pressure level is above 110 decibels and it becomes painful above 130 decibels. Solid rocket propelled ejection seats are used in many military aircraft to propel crew away to safety from a vehicle when flight control is lost. Orbital launch vehicles commonly take off vertically and then begin to progressively lean over, usually following a gravity turn trajectory. Every rocket works on the principle of Newton's third law which states that to every action there is always an equal and opposite reaction. The first stage of the Saturn V, carrying the weight of the upper stages, was able to achieve a mass ratio of about 10 and achieved a specific impulse of 263 seconds. This gives a delta V of around 5.9 km per second whereas around 9.4 km per second delta V is needed to achieve orbit with all losses allowed for. This problem is frequently solved by staging. The rocket sheds excess weight usually empty tankage and associated engines during launch. The energy density of a typical rocket propellant is often around one-third that of conventional hydrocarbon fuels. The bulk of the mass is often relatively inexpensive oxidizer. Rockets are now used for fireworks, missiles and other weaponry, ejection seats, launch vehicles for artificial satellites, human spaceflight, 
and space exploration. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe so you may not miss my latest videos. See you soon.